If you have a physical project that needs a user interface, you have a few different options. You can use an LCD screen like this and add buttons and have the user scroll through options and to set them and to execute functions. Or if you have an embedded Linux development board like the Raspberry Pi or the BeagleBone, you can set up a web-based interface to set options. And in fact, in getting started with Raspberry Pi, in chapter 10, we show you how to use Python and Flask to set up a cool web-based interface for a physical project. Now there's another option that you have, and I'm gonna use Raspberry Pi here as an example, so that you can use your keyboard, mouse, and screen to use on-screen functionality to make a GUI to set options for a physical project. And this is pretty cool because Everything you need is already packaged up on the Raspberry Pi. You've got Python, you've got TKinter, which is the library you're gonna to use to draw things on screen, and the GPIO library, which controls the pins. They all work together very, very well. Let me show you a quick example here. So uh, up here, I've got, I'm importing the TKinter module I was uh, talking about before, and I'm also importing the uh, GPIO module. These lines here set up the mo uh, set up the pins. Uh, this is going to use the Broadcom pin numbering, that BCM there. And we're gonna use pin 24 as an output. I have an LED hooked up to pin 24 here on my Raspberry Pi. And when we start up, we're gonna set that pin to low. Here I'm defining a new function called toggle. I'm not gonna talk about that right now, so let's jump down to the bottom here. This sets up our root window and it sets it up from the t this function called TK. We're gonna call the root window toggler and that'll be in the title bar of the window. And we're gonna set up a button called toggle button. Now that button, its parent is root, so it'll be inside the window. And the text of the button will say turn LED on. Now when we click the button, it'll execute toggle. So let's jump up and take a look at what toggle looks like. Toggle will first check if the pin is high. If the pin is high, it'll then set it low. And then it's gonna change the text of the button to say, turn LED on. Now, if the pin is low, it'll set the pin high and then change the text of the button to say, turn the LED off so that the user knows what they're, gonna, they're about to do when they click the button. So that's the command that's executed when that toggle button is clicked. Now, tkinter has a function to lay out, uh, has, a, has a way of laying out all the different, mod, all the different uh, widgets that you're putting in the window. So in this case, we're using the pack function to do that, and we're just saying, just put it over to the left. We're gonna create another button called quit button, and it's going to be in that main window we made. It's gonna have the text quit, and it's gonna execute the, the Python function exit so that we can get out of the program. We're gonna pack that button into the window on the left side. Now this is very, very important. Usually when a Python script is done running, it exits. But if we have a window that's opened and it just exits, it's gonna disappear. So we need to make sure that the window stays on screen and we're listening for clicks and different changes and when user moves the window around and so on and so forth. So this is a loop that's gonna run constantly and it's gonna keep the Python script from exiting immediately. So let's run this. sudo, or sudo, however you prefer to say it, uh, python and tk enter. Now all this code is available. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the code so that you can try this out yourself. Hit enter. So here's our window. And we have the button, turn LED on, and the quick button. So if I click it, turn LED on, you can see the LED here has turned on. And the text says turn LED off. So now I can click this really fast on and off. You can see the LED is flashing over here and the text is changing between on and off. So turn it on, click, turn it off, click. And then I, of course I can hit quit. And we're back out here. So that is just a very, very simple example of how to use TK Enter to create a graphical user interface and have that graphical user interface work with the physical pins on the board. I think there's a lot of power here. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. And I wanna hear if you guys ever use this and what you guys do with it. So if you have any plans for it, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll have another video for you tomorrow. Bye.